everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. I'm your host, Super Jungle, and today I'm going to be doing a video and that's going to be a commentary talking about how you can actually become better at Call of Duty. So yeah, let's get started. So the gameplay in the background is actually going to be of some Black Ops 3. However, these tips are actually pretty universal, whether you want to implement them in Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2, whatever Call of Duty game that you want to play, these tips should actually help you out. Also, just make sure to keep in mind, these tips are more for beginner players. So if let's say you're more of an experienced Call of Duty player, you're probably already using these tips and you might not find this video as helpful as let's say if you are a beginner call of duty player so with all that out of the way let's actually go right into the video also if you are enjoying this video don't forget to leave a like let's see if we can get five likes on today's video that would be absolutely amazing and yeah let's get right into it so the first tip and that is going to be make sure to listen now this is something that's actually really important and if you ever watch any like esports or anything like that you will see like sometimes like the people are playing and then you see this one person sitting in the corner and then turns around to the person that just came around the corner and you might be thinking, how did that person know that the other player was going to be coming around the corner? And that's just because the person was listening. If you actually did not know, if you're playing Call of Duty, when a person is walking, you can actually hear their footsteps. So that's something that you can actually really implement. And that is if you're playing and you hear footsteps and you know that there's no allies around, you'll know that there are actually enemies coming by, so make sure to be ready. One way that you can actually really use this, and that is if you actually have headphones. Now I'm not saying go out and buy like Astro A50s, however, if you do want to spend some money, I would recommend getting headphones because then you can actually listen to more game sounds and you don't have to worry about having your stereo system cranked up to the max and annoying everyone in your house. As well as in many Call of Duty games, they actually have this perk which makes it so that you can actually listen to footsteps and noises a lot easier and it just kind of amplifies them. As well as on the same note, I'm not saying go around like sitting in corners waiting to hear if there's a person going to come around the corner because that's not going to help you out at all and it's probably just going to frustrate the other team. What I'm just saying is if you're running around try to pay more attention to the audio to see if there's any people that might be coming around the corner and if you implement this tip it should really help you out as well as so i just want to say if you want to buy headphones you don't have to buy the most expensive ones my first headphones were actually ten dollars and they worked beautifully even though the audio quality may not have been that good i could still listen to footsteps and i could still use them the same way that person might use an astro a 50 or like one of the new turtle beaches so yeah that's actually going to be my first tip so now i'm going to be moving on to my second tip and that's going to be be prepared. Now this tip I actually noticed that a lot of newer Call of Duty players they actually do not do and it's quite a bit of a shame because it's actually a very useful tip and you will notice that it will help you get more kills and that's going to be be prepared. Now what I mean by this and that's going to be don't be looking at the ground, don't be staring at the sky, just pay attention and if you're coming around a corner make sure to aim down sight to be prepared if a person is going to come around that corner. One way that you can actually really help improve this and that is if you actually run the attachments quick draw as well as stock. This can really help you out because if let's say a person does come around the corner and you are surprised you can aim down sight quicker and stock will actually help you make it so that you can strafe around quicker which means if you are actually running these two attachments you will probably notice that you're going to be getting more kills and yeah that's actually going to be my second tip all right so now i'm going to be giving you my third and final tip and that's going to be make sure to run score streaks that you can actually get now this is actually something that i know a lot of newer call of duty players actually end up doing and that's they run score streaks that they can't attain they'll run something like uav vsat and maybe like mothership or something like that and the problem with that is they're not going to be getting their mothership all the time so i would recommend to you try to start out with lower score streaks even if let's say you are a better player try running lower score streaks just to start out and then work your way up into the higher score streaks this is something that i actually learned from a previous youtube video that i watched and it really did help me out i remember playing black ops 2 and i started out running like rcxd uav care package and they just started to work up and then now i can run something like uav v lightning strike orbital v sat or something like that and i can actually get all those score streaks so in summary make sure to start listening be ready for players to come around corners and be prepared so that way nobody will be ending up surprising you as well as make sure to run score streaks that you know you can actually get and yeah that has really been it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please remember to leave a like as well as subscribe if you are new and don't forget to click the bell to get a notification every single time i upload a new video as well as comment down below should i do a part two to this video leave your thoughts in the comment section and yeah that has really been it for this video i hope to see you in the next one bring it next time suggest fallback and regroup